Welcome to our first interview with cast and crew of Theatre Night in Merrickville. I'm Helen Steinberg, the president. With me today is Graham Thomas, one of the founding members of Theatre Night in Merrickville. Welcome, Graham. How are you? Good, thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Can you tell us how Theatre Night in Merrickville started? I can. Uh, I'll try and keep it as short and sweet as possible. Uh, in 1976, they were trying to raise funds for a medical centre in Merrickville. And the board approached Arnold Conaty, who was a, a, a teacher at a Thousand Islands in Brockville. And one of the courses he gave was theatre arts. And they had recently put on a production of You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. And they asked him or invited him to bring his cast and crew, etc., to put on a, you know, do a, a, a theatre night in production in in Merrickville at the community center. And he was absolutely thrilled. All the kids were absolutely thrilled. And uh, this has been arranged in, in sort of before the school broke up for the end of, you know, for, for the summer recess. And Arnold was just absolutely delighted. And unfortunately, the girl that played the piano was killed in a car accident. Yeah. And that blew everybody away. And, and needless to say, uh, it was a great loss to Arnold. Uh, first and foremost, one of his, you know, cherished pupils. Uh, but they couldn't put on the, uh, couldn't put on a show. And for a couple of weeks, he was, you know, really despondent. And, you know, it was a great loss. Anyway, uh, Carol and I, who lived, we were his next door neighbor. We said, why don't? We put on a play because he was saying, you know, what am I going to do? I can't do anything. Everybody's blown away. So we said, well, let us do something. And so he thought about it and thought, okay, this is a great idea. And uh, he thought he'd start off with uh, three one-act plays and, uh, you know, put it out about the village. And there was a, a phenomenal response. You know, 20, 30 people were instantly, uh, you know, enthusiastic about it and uh, I'm trying to remember the uh, the three plays one was resounding tinkle which you were in right yes and then there was uh, save me a place at forest lawn and then uh, there was a, a Victorian melodrama I do not remember the the name of that I, play. Have the, I yeah. actually have the name Graham it was a uh, curse you Jack Dalton that's it anyway put a long story short it was a one night stand. 500 people came and sat in the community center. This was before any of the, you know, uh, you come in the, from the parking lot, there's a barrier. It, it was all open, 500 people. And they got into it like you wouldn't believe. With the uh, melodrama, they were booing and hissing. It was phenomenal. It was just, just magical. Anyway. That was the beginning. And then uh, I guess that was in the fall. And then uh, everybody was saying, well, what, what are we going to do next? What are we going to do next? Anyway, cut a long story short, we did that old chestnut, Our Town. Yeah, that, and, was, that was in the fall, the next fall, actually. That yeah. You yeah, it was great. You know, I, I remember I, uh, I did some quick doodles, some photographs of cast and crew, and, and then uh, did a little brochure, you know, a little cover for a brochure. I've got it somewhere. You, you've probably got it up, but uh, in a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the archives. Yes, that's the word. Yeah. Now, it was interesting. How on earth did you get 500 people in? I know nowadays we, we you know, we build an elaborate stage and we put oh, up no, Oh, okay. They, they, they used to be two, I think they were eight feet by 16 feet, two a raised uh, dais is on, on wheels and they clustered them up together, you know, two together. And that was the stage set and everything was on the flat, you know, everything was on the flat. Yes. Uh, the people sat was, on the floor, well, not on the floor, but they, they didn't have the well, runners like we did on the floor. Oh, I think they got, to, I, I don't know where they, they begged, borrowed and stole chairs from all over the place, you know, oh, like, uh, community center but i mean it was big enough in those days because it was one big open space with the exception of the kitchen oh so there and was the no floor. there was no cloak room like we know now and and that's no, 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 
you came in through that back door and that was it. You were in the community center. Ah, interesting. Good. Yeah. Now, um, our town is quite a large cast, I believe, right? So uh, where yeah. did you get all your actors from for that? Well, uh, they, they were all local people, uh, little kids, you know. Well, I don't know how many parts are on it, but nobody had to do two or three roles or anything. They, just everybody was game to do it. I mean, besides which, you know, we, we all wanted a medical center anyway, you know, because I think the only doctor we had in town in those days was Robin Conway. Was it? No. Okay. And then when we had the center, um, Bidmeet came on, I guess. Graham, had you yeah. been involved with the theater before you got involved with this? No, I had not. But I really enjoyed it. I mean, I've got quite the ego and, you know, I love prancing around on stage. <laughs> How many plays have you been in? Have you any, any idea? I know at the beginning you were in a, you were in a lot. I looked through some of the old programs. I was quite, I'd probably, I think a safe number would be, say, 15, oh. you know. I was in uh, Our Town twice. Uh, I think we've had three productions of Our Town, and I've been in it twice. Uh, the first and the last. The first one, David Honeywell was the stage uh, uh, manager. Then uh, Shirley Malloy right. was, I think, in the second one. I had moved away from my, I was living in Ottawa at the time. I came out to see it, but I, I was not participating. And then I moved back to Marietville, and then I was in the third one where I think it was, was it Brian Fitzpatrick who was the stage manager? I think so, yeah. With with yeah. Uh, with me, I know Arnold directed the first one, but did maybe yeah. Jim direct the second one or the third one? He was still alive, so he probably did. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, I, I, he'd, uh, he, well, he died in January 1990, so he wouldn't have been in the third. He wasn't around for the third one, I think. I think Malloy. Um, yeah, Tim probably. Mr. Malloy. Councillor Malloy. How else have you been involved with the Internet Night Miracle other than on the stage? Oh, I did uh, a lot of posters, you know, for the, uh, yeah, the, the drawings for the posters. Actually, I've got a, I've got a, a file of the original, my original drawings that, and then they were taken to the printers. You know. Right. Oh, uh, be interesting. I could donate those if you wish. That would that would be very nice. <laughs> okay. Do, do you have a favorite role? Yes. Oh, uh, yes. I what was it? Run for your wife. I think I I think the character's name was Stanley. The guy who was pretending to be a farmer. Yeah. And uh, uh, there was one. I th I think I think it was dress rehearsal. Final dress rehearsal. Peter, Peter and I were the two, uh, P Peter... Uh, Peter Boer? <laughs> Monsieur Boer. Sorry, sorry, Peter. We were, we had our little scene and I, uh, there was a word coming up that I couldn't uh, say or pronounce properly. And I'm going to go, nah, 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 nah. and I thought, there's only one way to get out of this. And I turned to the audience and I said, I can't even remember the word now. It was inundated. I still tell that right. story. <laughs> the audience I said I can't say the word inundated and I got a standing ovation <laughs> and we carried on I got, yes I kept going in, 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 in. I got so that was that was a lot of fun and then uh, yeah I, another role I liked was the bird in uh, the field <laughs> and then I had a disastrous experience with uh, the black bunchfield what was it called I played a Scottish guy I didn't want that role and my body didn't want it. <laughs> and I totally screwed up. I froze on oh, <laughs> froze yeah. on stage. I did a lot to my ego because <laughs> I, I really loved playing and uh, that kind of threw me for the longest time. I've been in a, a couple of small parts since, but I've got to the point now where I'm, I'm just told to remember lines. I kind of remember my name sometimes. <laughs> I'm the same way. Okay, you said that you had done drawings for the uh, the posters. You'd done the posters, which of course then would go on to be the cover on the, the program. Correct. Any other, any other stage painting, anything else like that? or? I've helped with, uh, I, I don't recall doing any. Oh, I did some, uh, some stuff for, uh, we did a Marg uh, Sherman. I think it was her first, first play that she directed. And I, I did not so much uh, stage set as, as some uh, properties, you know, props. I did a drawing of uh, 
Brian, it's a teddy bear or something like that. You know. Okay. What would what would you tell somebody who is thinking about becoming involved with community theater with community theater? Oh, uh, you'll love it. No, I, I, I encourage it. I, I, I was just thinking about it this morning, sort of in anticipation of being on this, uh, you know, this interview thing. You know, it's sort of like uh, giving back to the community. You know, you do it for the fun of it, the fun of you know being with your your, your fellow uh, comrades and members of the of the theater group. It was a, a lot of fun. And, we make a lot uh, of new friends too, don't we? Absolutely. Thank you for doing this, Graham. It's good. It was good to find out what how uh, Theater Night in Maricopa started, and we'll be talking to you soon. Thank you for inviting me. I've thoroughly enjoyed it.